quite a few of you rightfully called me out on my Louis Vuitton collection video because I forgot to include this bag. I got it out when I was getting out my whole collection. For some reason, I didn't grab it to film. I have no idea what happened. But this is the Turin MM from Louis Vuitton. Just wanted to make sure it did get included in a video so you know I do still have it. It is my favorite bag. The boyfriend gave it to me a few years ago when we went to New York. I love it so much. I am having a little problem with it. I'm having an issue with the glazing on this handle here. It looks like there's a clear coat on the glazing that is starting to peel off and I'll put a picture of it here. Hopefully you can see that better. Otherwise I love that bag. There you go. Stay tuned for the rest of my luxury collection. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here and Roxy. Hello Roxy. She's adorable. She's my little sidekick. And by the way, she's my favorite luxury and Baron and Vincent. About a week ago, I published my Louis Vuitton collection video and now I'm showing you my collection of all my other luxury brands. I've also had a few people ask me to show my coach collection. It's not that big, so it doesn't deserve a dedicated video. So I'm throwing it into this one, even though coach isn't considered a luxury brand. And by the way, my channel is all about about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury to everyday luxuries. So if that sounds interesting to you, please subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. Okay, let's jump right in. I have quite a few things scattered about my desk here. I think I've got everything. I have Dior, Tiffany, Gucci, Chanel, Hermes, and Coach, and Ferragamo. Let's start with Ferragamo. This one right here, keeps pushing my elbow out of her way. The first item is this gorgeous Ferragamo silk scarf. It's a big square and I'm not gonna take it off and show you the whole thing, but it has these two leopards on it. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I think other than a small little Fendi leather crossbody bag that I don't have anymore, this was my first luxury brand purchase. And I got it from The Real Real for about $50. These retail for a few hundred and it is still one of my favorite silk scarves in my collection. I think. It's just gorgeous and I love the colorway too. I'm starting with the brands that I have the fewest pieces from. So one Ferragamo piece. I also only have one Dior piece. It's also a scarf, but it's one of their Mitzas. This is the Le Diable piece. It has that cool pattern with the little bats and I guess little devils and things. It has that same pattern on both sides, like, like the left and the right side. And then the back side, is this pattern. And I've told this story before, but my dog who died last year named Sebastian, we called him Bat for short, and my bird Vincent actually gave him that nickname. That's why I purchased this scarf, because it has the bats on it. All right, let's look at the Tiffany and Company items next. I have a scarf from Tiffany. Did you know that they even make scarves? I also got this on the Real Real, and this quarter of it gives you a pretty good idea of what the scarf looks like. I think it's beautiful. Again, I love the colors. I love that it has animals. You'll notice that a lot of my scarves tend to have animals on them. That's part of what attracts me to them for sure. Beautiful scarf. Lovely for spring and summer. I love Tiffany housewares and this is one of the items that I have. It's a rock crystal cut bowl. I also have two teacups from Tiffany's. This was the first one I got and this has a platinum band and it's bone china. There's the bottom of it there. This was a gift from my mother after I successfully completed my master's thesis in psychology. This is my other teacup from Tiffany. It's the sea urchin. The bottom of this one doesn't say as much. This is also bone china and this was a gift, I think a Christmas gift, from the boyfriend a few years ago. I think I only have two jewelry pieces. That's all I could remember that I had from Tiffany's and they are actually both from ex-boyfriends. One are these return to Tiffany earrings, little silver discs. I love them. The only problem is I've only been able to wear them a couple times and with great pain because the metal hooks here are very thick, like unusually thick, where they hurt my ears to the point that they sting all day and for several days after the one day that I might wear them. And they've even made my ears bleed sometimes. So I took them into Tiffany's once a few years ago for some reason, they would not replace them with different hooks. So I need to just cut those things off and put my own hooks on. I know how to do it. I need to do it so I can actually wear them because they're so nice. 
They'd look really good with this shirt that I'm wearing with the polka dots on it. I also have the silver band from Tiffany's. It says I love you several times around it. Both very lovely gifts. Now for Gucci. I have this brown Gucci scarf. I think you can see it has the GG print on it with fringe at the bottom. And I purchased this from the Real Real. I also have this silk scarf from Gucci. It's a safari print. Each corner has different animals. It's my favorite corner there with the lion and it says Gucci. I love the vivid color colors on this, but I also love that it's paired with this sort of ochre color on the border, which matches very well a vintage Louis Vuitton Vachetta. I think this scarf looks especially good tied to my vintage Noé GM. I've even used it, like I've rolled it up and used it as a strap for that bag before. Beautiful scarf, also got this at the Real Real. I have two SLGs from Gucci. This Marmont card holder in black. There's the back and the inside it has four card slots total two on the front two on the back and then that center compartment love this it was a christmas gift straight from gucci from my mom and the boyfriend a few christmases ago and one of the most special pieces in my whole collection is this piece from gucci and i got this in italy at the gucci museum in florence and i really should keep it out of this paper bag and use it more but it is this zipped pouch it says Gucci Museo. It's canvas, it's not coated, and this was another of my first luxury pieces. There's a tag on the inside. I think it was about $75, which was like a big amount of money for me to spend on something like this at the time. Now it's like, oh, it's only $75? Because I've gotten used to the outrageous luxury prices. Next up is Hermes. I will take this little scarf off and show you the whole thing. Isn't that beautiful? Like a pocket square size scarf. It's a silk chiffon and it looks like a watercolor painting. It's called Concerto and I just love it. Beautiful and again I love the colors. I got this from the Real Real. I have since seen this same scarf in other colorways so if you like this but you don't like the blue it is available pre-loved in other colors. I have two more scarves from Hermes. This one here also purchased from the Real Real. It's the same on like the left and right and the front and the back. So it goes with my wardrobe pretty well. And I have this Twilly. So hold it like this so you can see the whole thing. It has this geometric design and a few feathers on this side in purples and reds and blues. And then this side is different. It has animals again. So you've got the monkey on that side and then a leopard over here. And this one I purchased from Hermes in New York City when I was there a few years ago, the same trip where I got the Louis Vuitton Turin bag. I also have Hermes knotting cards. This is a stack of cards that, let me show you an example, has a photo on one side of how to tie a scarf or like how to style a scarf. And then on the other side, it tells you step-by-step -step instructions on how to make that look happen. I purchased these from The Real Real. They almost always have these for sale there. And the first time I told you guys that I got these, several of you told me, you know, those are free from Hermes. No, I did not know that. So I will not be buying anymore, but it's still kind of nice to have, to have all these little ideas. No regrets, learning experiences. And my last piece from Hermes is a piece of Hermes leather. It is this goatskin notebook cover in turquoise. Beautiful piece. It has the pocket and the stamp on this side and another pocket on the back. And then it has two hooks here. It's meant to hold an Hermes notebook that is sized for this notebook cover, but I found a much less expensive notebook that the color even matches pretty well at an art store near me and I modified it to fit into those hooks. And it's soft and gorgeous and beautiful and I love it, love it. Now for Chanel, my current favorite brand of all the luxury brands besides Vuitton. Now I don't know if this quite counts, but I have this little sample of a Chanel perfume. This is the beige perfume. I'm gonna say it counts. This was a gift from MJ Lux. She's another YouTuber. She's also on Instagram. I will link her channel and her Instagram name, JillyBunny8, below in the description box. And for the Christmas we just had, she sent me this book as my Christmas gift, the Chanel Collections and Creations. And I've been looking through this and enjoying it very much. And it also makes a nice decoration right there. I have three SLGs from Chanel 
the first one I purchased was this little turquoise key pouch. It looks like this. It has a little bit of a depth to it. Lovely. I got this off Tradesy, and inside it has a keychain. Looks like this. Now this thing that is hanging off of it, I added that. Didn't do any damage to the Chanel piece, but I wanted to be able to hang this from handbags, and hanging it from this length was a little too long for like a speedy. So I added this little hook that's much easier to open and close than the keychain loop, and then that can be added to bags. Have a little pop of turquoise. The inside is a beige color, looks like that. I got a fantastic deal on this piece on Tradesy. I will link them and all my other favorite pre-loved sites in the description box below, so you can go find some great bargains for yourself. The next Chanel SLG that I purchased was this little boy card holder, and let me take everything out of it. This is what I use as my main wallet. So here's the front. I'm just gonna do a little spin for you there. There's no pocket on the back. It opens up with a snap. There's a front pocket right here that fits cards and then this bigger space with gusseted sides. It holds a lot. I love it so much and this was my wallet previous to the Chanel piece. This is the Louis Vuitton Sarah wallet. I downsized quite a bit. Don't regret it at all. I keep the Sarah wallet on my desk and I keep this wallet in my bag. I love it so much. And I looked for this for a while and couldn't find it brand new. My store was just always out of stock some, for some reason. So I purchased this from Fashion File and I paid about $50 I think over retail for it, which I was not happy about, but I haven't regretted it because I've gotten so much use out of it. I really, really love it and I would like to get a few more of them in different colors, at least one more, but ultimately over time maybe a few. And my latest Chanel SLG is this card holder in the gold degradé. Is that how to say it? The gradient from gold to bronze. I just think it's beautiful and unique. Has two card slots on the back, one on the front, the center pocket, and it's the Gabrielle style, which is why it has this little thing on the bottom. I currently have two handbags from Chanel. I have this shop in Moscow tote in bronze. I purchased this from Fashion File when I reached 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. I purchased this at the same time uh, straight from Chanel. I actually got it at Neiman Marcus at the Chanel boutique there. And I think those look great together. I have not regretted for a second getting this bronze bag. I wasn't sure about it at first, but it's amazing. It goes with just about everything. Not so much maybe with this gray sweater, but just about everything else in my wardrobe at least. And I loved that so much that for my 40th birthday last year, I purchased another shop in Moscow tote from Chanel. This one in black. This one I got from The Real Real. I love both of them, but I have to say I love the bronze one more. Last but not least, my Coach collection. I have two scarves from Coach. There's this one that I got many, many, many years ago. Do y'all remember when the interior linings of the Coach bags looked like this? I think it's pretty. I like the plaid. I like the colors in it. And I got this at a Coach outlet. Then I recently purchased this Twilly from Coach. And this is the Party Animals Twilly purchased from the outlet online, coachoutlet.com. And it has the party animals on both sides. It's quite long. You see it barely fits on screen. But again, with the animals, thought it was too cute to pass up. I have a coach card holder. This is in their deco or art deco. I forget what they call it, print. It has that round design on both sides. It's super soft and supple holds three cards on each side, so six total, plus it has a middle pocket. And I love that it has the coach emblem in metal and not just stamped on. I recently picked up this piece. It's my first and only so far Poshmark purchase, and it's a little key or card holder. There's a pocket on the back, and you open it up with that twist lock. There's another pocket right here, and then the bigger pocket there, and it has this chain inside where you can hang it as a bag charm. I also really like that the hardware on the chain and the buckle are gold colored, but then the little studs are in silver. So you've got the cool, funky, edgy, multi-tonal metals going on. You can wear it with gold or silver. Fabulous and multifunctional. I did a video earlier this week comparing this bag, the Nolita 19, with the Louis Vuitton Pochette Accessoire, and some people told me afterwards that they that Coach has, at least in the past, made a Nolita 22 that would be closer to the size of the Pochette Accessoire. So now we know. 
I do not recall having seen the 22 size. The Nolita 19 when I bought this was the biggest one that was available and I purchased this from coachoutlet.com. It's a lovely little pouch. It's very comparable to the pochette accessoire. A few people said that they thought it was comparable to the mini pochette. I think the mini pochette's more like half the size of this, so for me that doesn't make a lot of sense, but it makes sense to them, that's okay. I have three handbags from Coach, all of which are in a way, and at least for me, kind of dupes for Louis Vuitton bags. So there's this one, which is called the Alexa, and I think this is a dupe for the Louis Vuitton favorite. To give you a little spin, it, it's very similar, the silhouette is similar has a lot in common. I think this might be a little bit bigger than the favorite, maybe not. It has this twist lock here, opens up. I have it stuffed right now. There's a pocket in the back and then the big open space. There are two little hooks and mine came with a chain. Laurel Bell, I'll link her channel below too. She purchased one in the black croc. Hers did not come with a chain for some reason. I don't know why, but on coachoutlet.com you can buy a gold chain or a silver chain and the gold one is like an antiqued gold. For only $15 each. So you could attach that to this bag or you could even attach it to the Nolita to make that a crossbody bag. This bag also has a big pocket on the back, which the favorite does not have. It's a fantastic clutch or crossbody bag. I recommend it. It is still for sale at coach.com and I will link it below. They also have like a silver metallic one. I wanna say there was another color too but maybe I'm wrong. And I have, of course, the famed Coach Cassie, which is a dupe for the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. And a lot of people have argued with me and said that it is not a dupe for the Pochette Matisse, that it's a redesign of the Coach Court bag. I do, if you compare the three bags, I see some similarities between this and the Court, but I will say for the millionth time, if you compare this with the Pochette Matisse, those two bags look almost identical whereas this and the court have a few things in common. This definitely, no question, copied the Pochette Matisse. Beautiful bag. This one you open up with a turn lock. It has exactly the same layout as the Pochette Matisse. You've got the little pocket up front, the bigger compartment, a third in the back. But unlike the Pochette Matisse, you have a slip pocket here and a zip pocket here. I think the first version of the Pochette Matisse had a zipper there, but I don't think any of them had this pocket. It comes with this top handle, of course, and a detachable crossbody strap, and there's a slip pocket in the back that's as big as the whole back of the bag. Beautiful bag, very functional, very useful, very practical, and a great price point. And it's still on sale, so I will link it below. And that definitely comes in a few different colors. My last and most recent coach purchase is the Field Tote 40. I'm really loving this bag. This was my last big splurge in December, right before I started my low buy year this year. And because I splurged instead of saving that money for low buy, which I really should have done, I was being extra responsible. I'm forcing myself to carry this bag and only this bag in the entire month of January. I haven't gotten tired of it yet. I love it. It's been fabulous. I'm going to talk some more about it in some upcoming videos, but here we go. Let's do a little spin. This bag is kind of a dupe for the Louis Vuitton on the go tote. It is much more uh, soft. It's, it's a coated canvas and it's more pliable and squishy, whereas the on the go is more stiff. And I'm not saying either one of those is better than the other. That's just a difference between them. It's one big open cavern inside. There are no pockets. The one I got obviously has the rocket ship design. It has this great strap that you can wear crossbody or shorten it to just be a shoulder bag. It's really fantastic and of course it holds a ton. And since it doesn't have any pockets inside, Coach was kind enough to include a pouch in that bag. It's a big flat pouch here. It has the handle on the back, not removable and it's just open inside with no pockets. And this features, if you haven't seen this yet, the new horse and carriage print. So, you know, Coach is famous for having the CC logo print. Well, this is their new logo. And I think they're keeping the CCs, but they've added this to the collection and I like it a lot better than the CC's. And if you like the horse and carriage print but you don't like the brown colorway, go to coachoutlet.com and they have this in other brighter colors like yellow, red, green, blue. Maybe you'll find something there you like. There's some really fun prints. Please let me know if you would like to know more about any of these items. If you want a review or wear and tear or comparisons between anything what fits, whatever you can think of. Let me know in the comments section below, please. 
so I can make videos for you. And also be sure to check out the description box. You can find links to some of these different items or search for them on my favorite pre-loved sites, which of course is where I get almost everything in my luxury collection. I'm curious what your favorite brand is of all these brands and let's include Louis Vuitton. What's your favorite? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic day. Bye.